Well, Betsy Ross is one of the great female figures of American history. She left an indelible mark by sewing the first U.S. flag. At least that's what we've been taught in school. <laughs> Alexandria Hoff is here now with why some historians are skeptical. Hi, Alex. Well, hi. You know, Philly has been home to countless historically significant women, Marian Anderson, Lucretia Mott. But the name recognition of Betsy Ross is undeniable. Her story, though, it may not be exactly as it seems. On Arch Street between 2nd and 3rd, there stands a house and a tribute to a woman. Someone who was a female in that era still doing great things and like making it known is, is cool. I mean, I do think that she is a role model and that's why people also like look up to her and do definitely know who she is. We know the name Betsy Ross and we know the story. She made the first American flag, right? Well, note the first word on the old city plaque dedicated to her. It reads credited. And some historians do now question if that was really her work. It does not bother me at all. We spoke with Betsy's modern day interpreter and she told us that she or well Ross did have connections to George Washington. She was an upholsterer and her work in flag making has been confirmed. The first one dated May of 17 and 77. I'm the very first person to be paid by the Congress for fashioning of flags. But according to the National Museum of American History, her rumored role in stitching the first stars and stripes only came to be a hundred years after the fact passed down through her family's oral history. And the Betsy Ross story really came around uh, around the suffragette mo movement. So it was, um, you know, who's better than um, to say that women should have the vote than, uh, you know, to say that like a woman made the first flag in the United States. Ross's hands remain a reasonable birthplace of old glory, but no proof exists. And perhaps it doesn't matter considering her legacy and what it symbolizes. Far too frequently, the names that are remembered are the wives of those gentlemen. Abigail Adams, Martha Washington. But Ross didn't come from wealth, and her three husbands are far lesser known. Everything I've achieved is from my own hands, from my own endeavors, from my own perseverance. And I would hope that such young women would see that and appreciate that and know that they too can persevere. Well, something I learned today, we don't even really know what Bessie, Betsy Ross looked like, which in a way helps other young women see themselves in this story and their own face in our history books. How mm. about that? That was one of the first places I ever visited in Philly. It's a cool was place. Betsy Ross's house mm -hmm. when I was a child. So, oh, really? Yeah, and I still remember you know, it. Yeah. So That's her story, and I'm sticking to it. Yes. Through. I love it. <laughs> right. Betsy, keep on Indeed. doing what you've been <laughs> We're doing. We're doing exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Alex. Alex. Appreciate it.